We're back. All right. So anyways, welcome to the streets of Monaco for the Monaco Grand Prix. Qualified P2 behind Pierre Gasly. It was a pretty exciting qualifying session. I was, I nearly had the pole, but lost it to Pierre. This game is just so cruel to me, you know? Henceforth, why I want revenge against EA and Codemasters. That and also the FIA for screwing Max in Saudi Arabia. Formula One returns to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world-famous Monte Carlo Casino, first opened in 1863. And, of course, a certain road race first held here in 1929. There's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two-mile-long Circuit de Monaco. The cars will climb around 40 meters up the hill, past the casino, and then descend downwards towards the harbor through Sector 2. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of the 19 corners at Sandovot. And don't expect to see much overtaking here today. It's just about time to go to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Anthony Davidson, what types of strategy do you think we can expect for today's event? Well, there's a lot that both the driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. Tires, fuel, energy recovery systems, the list goes on and on. But I think the key to today's victory will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by spending longer on worn tires. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday puts him on pole, and Bird completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Perez, Delatrat, Sainz, Norris, and Daniel Ricciardo, Russell, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon, and Mick Schumacher, Joe, Leclerc, Lance Stroll, and Daniel Tictum, Jovanadze, Ireland, Latifi, and Nikita Mazepin. And now it's time to head down to the track. All right, definitely want to make need a lighter fuel load in the car. I know that for sure. Go with the strategy. All right. Lights out and away we go in Monaco. You know, I wasn't going to let Max go that easily, that's for sure. is just dead today oh, come on <laughs> my brain just my brain just isn't working today maybe I guess waking up from that nap I guess must really must have thrown me off my concentration or something either that or I guess I'm just driving it maybe a little too hard or something like that but I'm just trying to keep up with Pierre up here so then that way could definitely pounce at a mistake, either that or I guess my, I don't know, because I kind of feel a little bit dizzy in a way, you know. My eyes feel like that they're kind of wobbly. But I'm probably sure that everything will fix itself as the race goes on. I'm sure my body will correct itself, so. It sometimes always happens to me, especially after waking, waking up from a long nap, you know, it's, so then once my body starts to work again, then I start to, I start to get better. Yeah. 
It's that, but also, you know, just how the car drives now. a new fastest lap of the race. You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. Sometimes it's so difficult stopping in time for the new bell chicane, but I'll make sure that I'm not faster this lap. I'll make sure that I'm slow, slower. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Understood. Copy that. Just stretch these tires out a couple more laps. I just had to do brilliant pit strategy and I could get in front of Pierre. car just will not stop. No. I mean, just too many, too many, too many signals going through my brain. Yeah. The underbody's taken a little damage. Watch out for it. Nah, it won't hurt the handling. You know, the underbody damaged a little bit. It won't hurt the handling of the car. It'll be just fine. Thing is, I gotta push like mad to keep up with Pierre. We're leading our teammate by 7.4 seconds. Just gotta keep pushing that Taro Rosso. That's what I need to do. Try to push Pierre into making a mistake. That, but also maybe push him into burning up his tires. That's what I, I think I really need to do. Just try to keep pushing him into burning his tire, burning up his tires. Plus, as I get closer to him, the car's gonna start to get really tight because all that air gets taken off the car.
the uh Taken some damage, you may start to notice it. Yeah, I know, but it won't hurt the handling of the car. Say, so I know the underbody's taking damage, Jeff. It won't hurt the handling of the car. So, I mean, when I get close to him, the car's gonna start to get tight. It's as twitchy as the car, twitchy as the car is, it's gonna be damned hard keeping this thing stable. Oh, good, he's pitting now. It should help me out a ton. Now I got clean air in front of me. Now I can go ahead and push it. Bit window open. Let's box this lap. So the good thing is I got clean air in front of me. So that's good. I can definitely try to push it a little bit. Try to see if I can set a see if I can set a fast lap. just I really wish that that I honestly wish that EA and Codemasters did not release that latest patch is that latest patch that added in this year's Formula 2 roster I feel like that patch really killed I feel like that patch really killed this game you know what I mean a darn patch killed that game killed this game you know I mean ah <sighs> My brain is just not working at all today. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like I just can't do this game anymore. Cause my brain just doesn't want to work at all. Maybe I need to play this, maybe I just need to do this tomorrow. My brain just does not want to work at all today. I don't know. Man, that patch really ruined this. That patch killed this game. Alright. Let's see. Let me try. Let me just run a replay here. See what happens. All right. I need to pit the slap. All right. I didn't speed in the pit lane there. I say Seb's coming in too for his stop. But yeah, my brain just isn't working today. I don't know what it is. I mean, I just wish my brain was working. Go, go now. Eh, 2.4 isn't bad. These guys did pretty good. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. All right, got Gasly. Excellent. But yeah, that that patch really ruined this. this that patch ruined the scheme. It did. That's why I, I've honestly been considering retirement from the scheme after I'm done with this season. You know, I've actually been strongly considering. I've been strongly considering retirement retirement from this game after after I, I'm done with this season yeah. 
My brain really just is not working today. I don't know. It's just, my brain is just dead today. It just does not want to work. I'm, getting, I'm honestly getting so sick and tired of getting frustrated. I really am tired of it. I guess there's just too much ad adrenaline running through me, I guess. Man, I'm just so... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but... track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Well, at least the good thing is I beat Gasly on pit strategy, so that's good. Flag. Oh, somebody's off there. Yeah, one of the I was gonna say one of the biggest one of the biggest problems with this game is that even though the, even though when you upgrade the car it's supposed to make the car better it, it seems like I don't know what EA and Codemasters were thinking they actually make the car harder to drive you know I mean for goodness sakes when you upgrade the car it's supposed to make it easier to drive but they kind of went the op did the opposite they made it harder to drive you know. It's just honestly how broken this game is, you know?
shortcut sound of all. So it's great about having that clean air, you know, is that I can. I think I got more downforce on the car. Even if I do win this race, I'm not going to celebrate it. I'll just call this a bittersweet victory. So I was hoping I wouldn't have had to const I wouldn't have had to needed to use flashbacks or well hit my head. But my brain just doesn't my brain just doesn't want to work today. I don't know. It's either that or just extreme exhaustion from. You know, work and stuff like that. Either that, or maybe I just need to play something else. But I really would like to try to at least finish the season of the career mode before I do that. Just so I get, get this off my chest so it's done and out of the way. I don't need to worry about it later on. Because either way, after this year, these cars are completely irrelevant, so... Because of the new cars coming in next year, so... Figure better to get this done than... Than to come back to it later once the new cars come out, or once the new driver lineups are announced. So... Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, right? There's five laps of fuel remaining. And I got Nicholas Latifi in front of me. He's gonna have to get out of my way. So I'm the leader. Okay, come on, Nick, get out of the way. Thank you. Thank you very much, dude. For letting, thanks for letting me pass. into Massene there. behind is 20.0 seconds. I'm just glad Louis still Louis still in the race, which is excellent. That makes me smile.
Nikita. Thank you for letting me pass. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Shortcut the new Val chicane. It's already happened twice. You think we may see some rain? ETA is about 15 minutes. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. There will be no rain happening. And I got Antonio and Callum in front of me. Okay, you two are gonna those two are gonna need to get out of the way because I'm right behind them. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Come on, let me pass. Come on, Antonio, let me go. Thank you. Alright, hopefully Callum lets hopefully Callum lets me through too. Thanks, Callum. Let me pass. Yeah, it's like the car just. Sweet victory. You know, I really wish I wasn't getting frustrated there, having to hit my head. But yeah, my brain just my brain just doesn't want to work today. The win, and they've only gone and done it. What a fantastic result here at Monaco. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tires are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. The, uh, the... But yeah, I mean, seems like this game started out decent, but EA and Codemasters made this game worse. They really did. I know I'm probably not the only one who's upset. I'm probably sure there's thousands of others who are upset too. But you know what's cool though? A Prestige 3. That's a goodie. So let's review the updated driver's I think stats. I can make it to Prestige Despite 5. Despite the best efforts of our championship leader, that lead has taken a bit of a knock today. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Daniel Tictum gets my vote today. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. 
Be sure to join us again as we continue about... to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. I was thinking about Dan Tictum when he was mocking Nicholas for TV on a live stream. And he's like, Latifi is poo. <laughs> Which I thought was really funny. <laughs> Oh man, I was watching that on Josh Rebels videos. That was so funny. <laughs> Sadly though, when Dan did that, he was fired from Williams. Yeah, that was, I found that to be hilarious. To the be fans honest, fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Do you think that your close rivalry has helped you out this season? You performed better than last weekend. What changed? You did good. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Great. Well, that's everything. Yeah, it's just my brain's still in a bit of a tizzy. <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit of some funny stuff. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know. Um, I was just thinking of something that was hilarious. Alright, back to team headquarters. And Azerbaijan. Shouldn't get my Monaco GP trophy. Which is cool. Yeah, definitely I'll give the team some time to recover and help Louis King Louis out. Um, yep, definitely build on the power train and that's about it. Alright. Um Now I'm gonna wanna definitely put in a fresh fresh components in for Azerbaijan because as you know Azerbaijan is a power circuit and you gotta have a lot of ponies to get around that track. I'll go ahead and stick in a new gearbox and I should probably build a new practice gearbox in case of something not so good happens. Yeah he's 8.1 and Louis' focus is way down but the good thing is at least a little training he'll be in Really great shape, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead now and get the uh, final boosts for these. By right, then, everything is all set with that. I think Louis probably might be able to get the other perks too. I don't know if he can get them or not, but well, at least the good thing is perks are all done. The thing I really want to try to then get is upgrade this to to this to the max, so I can then get more acclaim. Can then get that coveted fourth sponsor on there. Also can work for the custom car outside of the career mode too. Yep, give my guys a break because they deserve it. Plus they probably don't want to see me be like Kylo Ren. So. You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully who you select. As while you will receive a claim for beating them, you'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. I already know that. Okay, so yeah, next episode uh, is the streets of Baku in Azerbaijan. Yeah, pretty nice street course that produces some crazy races. I mean, we've seen some crazy races there over the years. Yeah, I mean, Azerbaijan really produces some wacky race, wacky race results. Some pretty, pretty good moments. Anyways, I'll see you guys in Azerbaijan. Bye-bye.